So in this video, I want to go through with you all the uh, specific topics that you're going to learn in the 8-day Certified NLP Practitioner course, okay? So let's look at module number one first. Now in module number one, you are going to learn the first one is called NLP Presuppositions. Now NLP Presuppositions, these are the core ideas as well as the uh, core fundamental principles, okay, that makes NLP unique and special. Now, this is very important, and that is why we will cover it on day one. Now, in fact, I believe that the reason why I can help people very quickly using NLP is because I make it a point to practice the NLP presuppositions in every area of my life. Okay, so this is the first thing that you will learn. Now, the second thing you will learn is called sensory acuity. Now, sensory acuity refers to your senses and how to use it when you're communicating with other people. You know, once you master sensory acuity, you'll be able to get a lot of uh, quality information from people, even if they are not talking to you. Like, for example, yeah, maybe through their body gesture, facial expression, or uh, certain funny behaviors or maybe the vibes that they send to you you will learn how to detect all this yeah now number three you're going to learn about rapport and rapport simply means how to connect with people in a very deep and meaningful way and more importantly to do it quickly so rapport creates trust okay so once you know how to build rapport with people you can communicate with anyone and just connect with them all right and not only that i will also teach you advanced rapport whereby you are going to use advanced techniques to create strong relationship with people okay so you're going to learn this in module number one okay next if you want to influence people if you want to help people to change their mind then pacing and leading is the topic okay so pacing and leading is something very powerful in NLP that enables you to change people's mind in a very subtle way. So I'm going to teach you how to do pacing and leading. Now, I always tell people NLP is about having the power to reprogram your mind. But what exactly to reprogram? What are the things to, to change, you know? So in submodality, you are going to learn specifically what are the things in the mind that can be changed and how to change it. And you will also get lots of practice to help to change it, not just in yourself, but in others too, okay? So that is submodality. Now, next, we are going to learn one of the first techniques in NLP, which we always call as uh, NLP patterns. And the first one is called as swish pattern. Now, swish pattern is a very powerful pattern to create a sense of, uh, how should I put it? Like, for example, if let's say in the past you were able to do something very well, but somehow or another over the years you may have forgotten about it or you may have like lost that drive and things like that. Now, swish is a very powerful pattern to bring out the best in you. Okay, so swish is the technique that helps you to recall the best quality in you. Now, you're going to learn how to do switch. Okay, so next we move on to another very important technique in NLP, which is called anchoring. Now, anchoring is all about setting a trigger for a specific behavior that you want to have. Like, for example, if let's say you want to have courage, so you can specifically create a courage anchor on yourself, and when you need it, activate it, and you can get that behavior that you want anytime. Okay, so that is anchor. And finally, in module number one, you are going to also learn about state management. In other words, it is all about managing your own emotions, okay? How to be in control of your own emotion and to feel the feelings that you want to when you want to. And when you learn about state management, you will also have the tools that will help you to help others manage their emotions as well. All right, so that is the good stuff in module number one. Next, let's look at the following week, which is module number two. Now, in module number two, we are going to start off by going into an advanced and a very powerful anchoring technique, okay? So, in module one, we learn about the basics of anchoring. In module number two, we are going to do one very powerful anchor, which is called Circle of Excellence. Now, Circle of Excellence, as the name suggests, means that you are going to tap into your inner excellence and you're going to anchor it so that you can have it anytime you want. You know, sometimes, right, people who are in sports and all that, they talk about being in the zone, they, they are flowing, so you're going to experience circle of excellence. Okay, next is meta model. Now, meta model refers to the language model of NLP. Now, NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. 
Linguistic means language. So you are going to learn how to use language in a very artistic way, or should I say a very elegant way to help people to or to influence them more effectively. So that is meta model here. Yeah? Okay, number three is well-formed outcome. Now, the well-formed outcome is all about goal setting. It's all about planning. And this model has helped a lot of people, even a lot of my students, okay? Uh, like, give you an example. Some of my students, after doing the well-formed outcome, they went on and start several businesses. They lost weight, okay? And then they hit their sales targets. So, well-formed outcome is a very powerful way because it teaches you how to set good quality and inspiring goals. Okay, number four, we are going to look at phobia cure, which will also be used to help people overcome traumatic memories. You know, sometimes people may have certain things that cause phobia in them. And, you know, uh, traditionally people say you will need a long time in order to overcome a phobia. But in NLP, we do it very fast. That's why we learn the phobia cure. Okay, so I've helped people to overcome phobia of heights, phobia of flying, uh, phobia of, would you believe it, birds even. <laughs> okay, and there was one lady whereby she was actually, uh, she was rocked in kale and because of that she had got fear walking at night. She also become free after doing one session of phobia cure. I'll teach you how to do it. Okay, next we look at another language pattern of NLP, which is NLP frames and reframing. Okay, now this is one of my favorite because once you master frames and reframing, you can just say one sentence and the person's mind will change like that. Okay, that is how powerful NLP frames and reframing is. So I'm going to teach you how to do the frames and how to reframe it. And then also, okay, you are going to practice to do it on each other in the class. Okay, now next uh, six step reframing. You know, some people, they have got uh, bad habits that sabotage their own success, okay? And usually it is because of some, I would say, uh, some inner conflict that they have. So six-step reframing allows you or helps you to go into your subconscious and talk to your unconscious mind and begin to work with your unconscious mind to solve problems, okay? So that is the six-step reframing, and uh, you're going to learn this. And finally, on module number two, we are going to learn a very powerful model. In fact, some people say maybe one of the most powerful models of communication, which is called Milton model. Now, Milton model is named after Dr. Milton Erickson, one of the world's most famous hypnotherapists from the 20th century. Now, you're going to learn specifically how he uses language to hypnotize people in a very, very subtle way. Okay, so you're going to learn all of these powerful things in module number two. Now, let's go to module number three. Now, in module number three, you're going to learn how to hypnotize yourself. Okay, so I'll teach you self-hypnosis so that you will be able to use hypnosis on yourself to help you to relax, sleep easily at night, or maybe cure any uh, sickness that you may have, or just to reprogram your mind on a consistent basis. So you will learn the tips, the tricks, as well as the do's and don'ts of self-hypnosis. Okay, after that, we are going to learn something known as timeline. Now, timeline is a very big topic. It's very powerful. But to cut short, it just means that you are going to learn how to travel through time. I know that sounds weird. But you are going to learn how to go in time and make changes that you can experience today. And when I talk about going through time, it is also about going to the past and also going into the future. All right. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting and it has helped a lot of people okay, to overcome things that cause them to become stuck in their life. And after you have done that, I want to teach you a technique that I'm going that I created, which is called releasing limiting beliefs. Now, this is a technique that I'll be presenting at the International NLP Conference in London in May this year. OK, so I'm the one who created it and uh, it's my pleasure to be sharing that with you. Now, this technique is all about if you have any beliefs that are holding you back, you will be able to use this technique to release it and to reprogram it, replace it with powerful new beliefs. New beliefs that is going to help you to achieve the goals that you want. All right. Now, and after all that is done, before we finish the course, we are going to do setting a goal on your future timeline. In other words, you're going to set a goal that you are going to hit in the future. And I'll teach you how to do that specifically. And we are going to go through it together. Okay. And finally, there will be a practical assessment.
okay there will be a practical assessment now before you start to like uh scared of it i just want to let you know that the practical assessment there is no written test okay and i'll repeat that there is no written test in fact the practical assessment as the name suggests is about you demonstrating that you are able to apply the nlp techniques that you have learned okay so i'm going to guide you i'm going to teach you how to use the patterns and if you follow me closely you do what i do all right you learn from me then you will definitely be able to pass the assessment okay so all right so that's all about uh, all the different topics that you are going to learn and cover in the nlp course and um until we meet in the actual class all right take good care of yourself and get plenty of rest before you come to class so that you can be at your full attention when you come to class okay so i look forward to seeing you in module number one till then bye